After experiencing a few of the sandwiches of Montreal, our sandwich journey took John, a.k.a. Sandwich Dad, and myself up the St. Lawrence River to the town of Salaberry de Valleyfield and nearby Saint-Zodique. We had traveled to Quebec to experience a few sandwiches we'd both recreated at home but had yet to experience in the wild. We found both at a restaurant in Salaberry de Valleyfield called Le Bidon. Le Bidon features what I imagine must be a fairly typical fast food menu for the area. Burgers, hot dogs, chicken nuggets, French fries and onion rings, of course, but also with multiple styles of poutine available, as well as the two sandwiches we were after. The first was guedilla, a type of Quebecois sandwich often conflated with a lobster roll, simply because it features a salad served in a hot dog bun. And yeah, you can probably get a lobster guedilla somewhere, I'm sure. This one, though, featured dry white meat chicken blanketed in a thick layer of vinegary coleslaw, and while the bun was well toasted, the contents were not great, with the desiccated chicken doing little to keep the wetness of the slaw from turning that bun texturally into the sandwich's namesake. Gedi, it is said, is a French-Canadian slang term for a bit of snot hanging from the end of one's nose. The other sandwich we came to try was grillade, a sandwich served only here and in a few surrounding communities, featuring seasoned grilled pork belly in a sturdy white bread with tomato, onion, and mustard. It's a good sandwich that I enjoyed when I made my own version at home, and nothing in Le Bidon's version surprised me. I'd have used a little less onion and mustard, but it was otherwise quite good. Griades may be hyper-local, but they are also well-loved by the people of these communities. So much so that on this particular weekend in August, for the past 10 years, they've held Le Festival de la Grillade de Saint-Zotique on the beach at Saint-Zotique, celebrating the grilled pork belly that gives the sandwich its name. The festivities started on Friday evening with the disco night. The Alter Ego show band played cover tunes for at least two hours, but nothing I can say or even show you could prepare you for how much fun it was to watch. This band, with seven singers, five women and two men, alternating lead singing duties with backup dancing, did dozens of costume changes, usually launching directly from one song into the next without a break, with a new singer emerging dressed to impersonate the artist whose song they were covering. Even the bass player and guitarist danced along half the time. They did sets of 80s pop favorites, 90s R&B, country music, Latin music, hair metal, hip hop, and you haven't lived, not really, until you've seen a very white man with a noticeable French-Canadian accent rap and dance along to MC Hammer's You Can't Touch This. The festival proper started Saturday afternoon, though, with multiple tents, each serving samples of its own take on griades. There were QR codes posted that linked to a site where each attendee could vote for their favorite griade in each of three categories. Commercial griades, served by area restaurants, amateur griades served by teams made up of families or groups of friends, and municipal griades, where each of four local teams developed a griade recipe to represent their towns. Most of the griades on offer were simple, just seasoned pork belly, whether cooked on a flat top griddle or directly over charcoal, served crisp and shattering or fatty and flexible, featuring the flavor of the pork and the seasoning mix unencumbered by accoutrements other than perhaps the smoky charcoal flavor of a grill. Some added a bit of marinade or sauce, such as the bracingly sour, citrus-heavy offering from the city of Vaudreuil d'Orion, or the delicious sweet mint glaze that the municipal team from Pincourt used. Pro tip, the two of those together were absolute fire. Some provided fancier samples, such as grillade with mango salsa cupped in a tortilla chip as served by the team from Notre Dame de Il Perot. Others were odd, such as the grillade with chocolate sauce offered by Sensotique's own team. I'm not sure how the online voting figured into the competition, but eventually a panel of judges convened and sampled each team's entries, and the francophone mayor of Sensotique announced the winners. In French. I was completely at sea during these announcements. But I did gather that our favorite commercial vendor, a restaurant called Taco Shack in nearby Pincourt, who offered both standard and spicy griades, took first place in the commercial category. 
In the municipal category, the lime glazed Vaudreuil Dorian took the plaque. And our favorite amateur team took third place and seemed thrilled to be there. There was more fun to be had. Several French Canadian country artists were playing the festival stage that evening, but we'd had enough. And after a long day of eating delicious pork belly, we headed back to Salaberry de Valleyfield, where John found yet another Gadi to try. But I'll let him tell that story. <laughs> 